Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at uh, Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem from the last exam MLC given at the end of April, problem number four, April 2018. Uh, this is an exercise for May 26, 2018. And uh, since this material is on the exam LTAM, this is an exam LTAM exercise. You are given that the interest rate is 5% that 1,000 times the cost of a pure endowment uh, on a 50-year-old for 15 years is 462. 1,000 times the cost of uh, life insurance on 50-year-old with benefit payable at the mm, end of uh, the month of death. Uh, of course, this capital A, ref capital A refers to unit benefit, just like the pure endowment was on the un unit benefit. And of course, by multiplying by it by 1,000, we make it, um, the, the actual present value becomes the value for uh, 1,000 benefit payable at the end of the month of death. And that's equal to 189. And the same value, but for a 65-year-old, is 354. Calculate a double dot 50 colon angle 15 uh, upper 12, which is um, an annuity due payable um, as long as a 50 year old is alive over the next 15 years, uh, but payable uh, unit annuity, of course. Um, but the unit is spread over the year in the payments of 112 at the beginning of each month. So, of course. One of the important things that I always tell my students is to know the, what I call the David Ricardo um, formula, which in this specific case is that a double dot um, 50 colon angle 15 upper 12 is equal to 1 minus a 50 colon angle 15 upper 12 divided by d upper 12. Uh, David Ricardo formula relates the uh, life annuity to uh, life insurance uh, actuarial present value, and I call it that for a reason explained in the study manual uh, for MLC that I published before, and I will have a new version of exam LTAM study manual, hopefully within a month or so, working on it, I promise. Um, so this is equal to, and then what we do is we spread this um, um, endowment insurance uh, for 15 years on a 50 year old on the it, we spread it into the term insurance and pure endowment payable after 15 months and the term insurance um, over 15 years with the benefit payable at the end of the month of death uh, that term insurance can be then written as a 50 upper 12 minus 15 e 50 times a 65 upper 12 so it's basically life insurance on 50 year old but any benefits after 15 years are taken out, taken away. And of course, all of these are actuarial present values at age 50. We add the pure endowment at the end because of the endowment insur insurance that is in uh, the previous formula, the A50 colon angle 15 upper 12, that includes both the death benefits for the 15 years and the pure endowment at the end. And if you subtract the two things that we have in the big brackets, the first two things, you take out any benefits after 15 years so you need to bring back the pure endowment. That's why it's there. And at the bottom, we just write D upper 12 in terms of the interest rate because the problem gives you uh, the interest rate, not the upper 12, not the rate of discount, nominal annual rate of discount compounded monthly. Um, and of course, you know that uh, 1 plus i is equal to um, uh, the upper 12 divided by, I'm sorry, 1 minus the upper 12 divided by 12, the upper 12 is divided by 12, not 1 minus it. So 1 minus the quantity of the upper 12 divided by 12, the whole thing to the power 
negative 12, that's equal to 1 plus i, and we just solve it for d upper 12 to get what you see here. And you should know that from exam FM, and if you don't review it ASAP, because this is going to be on the test. Um, so know all the relationships between various measures of interest, because that's a standard thing to be on exam LTAM. Uh, knowledge of exam FM, thorough knowledge of exam FM is assumed on the next exam, exam LTAM. Well, it's not necessarily the very next one you take, but knowledge of the material from exam P and exam FM are assumed in all of the subsequent exams. You have to be very familiar with them. Anyway, so at the top we end up with uh, 1 minus, and then we have point 189 minus 0.462 times 0.354. All of this is given in the problem, plus uh, 0.462, and at the bottom, 12 times 1 minus 1.05 to negative 112. And it's a little bit of calculation, but it's not really that big of a deal to calculate all that. Um, I would suggest you calculate the bottom part first, put it in the memory of the calculator, then the top is actually relatively easy, just calculate that. Um, and then divided by the quantity you had in the memory. And that comes out to be uh, approximately 10.5265, which is answer D. Now let me show you that you could do this also um, uh, in a different way by um, taking that temporary life annuity at age 50, but only over 15 years as life annuity at age 50 minus deferred by 15 years annuity at age 65 subtracted and in this way you don't have to add that pure endowment factor that's a little bit simpler in this sense but now you have to use the David Ricardo formula twice to get the a double dot um, so we just plug it in uh, basically use David Ricardo just like before uh, notice that those two things have a common denominator of d upper 12 so we combine the terms and we get what you see, and then we write d upper 12 in terms of um, i, and this actually becomes exactly the same calculation as what we just did a moment ago, and it's 10.5265. Um, either way, you, you sooner or later you end up using David Ricardo formula, the way the problem is phrased, where you are given the values for life insurance, uh, but you're supposed to come up with something concerning in, uh, a life annuity. Uh, whenever you see a situation like that, it's pretty clear you will be using the David Ricardo formula. Mm, well, this was a very nice problem and very educational, I hope. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.